Nathan, sound design. I'm Oswald Skillbard. I worked on the music. I'm Tom Carroll, and I also worked on the music. Well, we've made the music together. Yeah, apart from that flute bit. Apart from that flute bit, which was a bit of a surprise to us, actually. <laughs> completely out of tune. Just different just scale. Tearing right in the middle of our thing. Yeah, well, but, it kind of needed to be done. I mean, set yeah, flute did, on the yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, and we didn't, yeah, we forgot to do the flute. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's not, I told you on email that it sounded like the mock time. And Sorry? You know, in mock time, like in Star Trek, the that episode where, um, yeah, like Kirk is battling a blood lusty Spock who basically has to shag somebody every seven years or he dies. And yeah, they, you know, they're kind of like uh, weasels, apparently. <laughs> they just have to, they just have to have sex or they die. And then. Um, yeah, the music actually doesn't sound like a mob time at all. I, just, oh, okay. I don't really know where I got that from. I'm glad we've been talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the music like in a mob time? You know, like kind of like what they did in the sixties, where like you know, like basically sort of like background weird uh, foreign music. You know, like ethnic stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know that sort of stuff. Like in slightly a, offensive. <laughs> yeah, kind of like you know, you know when you see Spartacus, and yeah, then yeah. yeah, there's the slave music and the people from like Tunisia or whatever, and like they have their own music. That's, That's kind of exotica. Yeah, okay. from the sixties. Dash, it's a new swear word I'm trying out. Can you so strike back that to one this. off the list, please? Yeah, there's no music going now. Uh, ten super Some sounding things. Ghost worth never let me. Uh, I mean, I could talk about like the yeah the uh, before that um yeah on the on the last episode. Uh, there's somebody that asked me how I did the uh, the thing with the helmet, uh, like just to make it sound like uh, he's Ghost within word, the helmet, and it's just, just an impulse response course. from a uh, like uh, a jam jar. Is this because I like that? Was it Did you record? Yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No, I didn't record it. I basically don't really have facilities, so like the only thing I recorded was um, was the footsteps from Ghostworks, which is something that was hanging out in my place, which is a massive sort sort of pole. Yeah, king, king. Yeah, sort of. We didn't do this music. Yeah, I hate it. No, we actually like it. Cool, we've got an opportunity to talk about the music and it's the bit we haven't done. <laughs> <laughs> it's no sound to mention either, is there? Oh, uh, there was just a second ago. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, his I name. just, oh, I yeah. really don't understand what that baby thing is. Okay, so, so the reason behind the baby love. <laughs> <laughs> Call Jason, me here, Jason. I'm, I'm Jason, I wrote the thing. Uh, well, <laughs> so, so people weren't getting what was going on there, like what, so they, they hate rainbows, or are they like really homophobic or something? <laughs> it's like, it, so they're like red angry warrior people, and it really had to drive it home that they were like really tough and hard, and that they would see something, so I added sparkles, which wasn't going to be there before either, um, the sound of the sparkles, which have a sound, Yeah. and, um, and yeah, so it was These look a lot home. like 2001. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, I think the point's made. I yeah. think it worked okay. in the room. <laughs> Alright, back into it. Careful, mate. <laughs> no. That's me most mornings. <laughs> Is there music in this bit? Uh, not, not for a bit, yeah, no. no. There's a, there's a little bit coming up before before it all goes to shit. There we go. Oh yeah. So we made this music. So this is really <laughs> really chilled out. <laughs> the yellow hollow paper. <laughs> I've never seen that. Dogs, hot dogs. Oh yeah, we had some really weird music on here. It was it's a tough scene actually. We, I was kind of trying to what score the sound, like the feel of a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, like, like, like really kept going on about wobbly hot dogs. <laughs> like, what? He was trying to do like bendy synths, like yeah, 
I, I'd always tried something else, and in the end, none of, none of it really worked. But it was funny. Anton was just obsessed with wobbly hot dogs the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to want to hear what the hot dog music here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but like, yeah, so I'm sorry, we can just, just sketches. But so yeah, we, we can we can knock <laughs> them out for, <laughs> for the fans. We could have one. <clears throat> in my house? Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. I mean, I, if you wanted to, I, I don't know you that well, but you and I. So, how did you make the background hum here? Different the hum is this, and oh, hang on, this is this is great. This I downloaded a, um, a sound bank that was called uh, Erotic Sound Effects, and I never used any of it for anything because, like, most of it is just some someone. You know, it's literally just someone someone going like, um, um, like. Oh, you big boy. That's all really <laughs> stupid. Thing. Sorry, what was that? I didn't quite hear it. Just, uh, so, just so the microphone can pick it up. Yeah, uh, so, but, but, yeah, within that erotic sound effects sound library, there's one called Safe Sex uh, Condom Opening Up, and that's, like, yeah, that's probably the only time I'm ever going to use this library. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a really good sound in the BBC yeah. library called Orgy. Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really like seventies. It's so British. It's like it's really cool. British, like posh people having this like yeah. fake orgy, yeah. and then at the end they were like, yes. uh. "Is there a pig? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a pig? Uh, they do that in you know no, posh people here." Uh, oh, yeah, so. yeah. oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pre pre Cameron. Yeah, pre Cameron. For, yeah. for future listeners, this was recorded shortly after yeah. the yes. revelation that Cameron the pig gate. Cameron. <laughs> Current prime minister David Cameron. Yeah. Will age this commentary massively. <laughs> so Pop cultural references. <laughs> Their sexual organ, which is actually also the waste disposal organ, and then they. Yeah, uh, but the home is like a bunch of synths and. Uh, um, like a frequency shifter <coughs> and, and filter freak from uh, sound toys mostly. Yeah, I mostly did did it with absinthe and yeah, absinthe. It's a it's a synth by yeah native instrument. It's really green, like blue. Yeah, uh, sorry. I mean yeah, they sort of went for the you know absinthe reference. <laughs> The, the wobbly music just then was that some of the hot dog music that was some guitar <laughs> noises <laughs> Vincent made and then I put them through a granular thing and like warped them all it's a collaboration yeah that was actually we just basically totally copied the reference sound that you put on but with a guitar oh. mm. is that right no no that was oh. uh, a synth a, like boingy synth, like this sound, but then oh, reverse. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Boingy synth. Dutch. We argued about when that sound should start. Mm. Can't remember. Well, who we were. never argue. Uh, <laughs> well, I I was the last one to work on that project, so it went up to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we going to start it, Tom? Can't even remember. He wanted it as soon as the door opened, and I wanted it as the camera panned up. You were right. Oh, you were right. Said, I'm Beautiful. I said pan, but what's the term? Tilt. Tell me I'm pretty. You're pretty, sir. Lies. How did you get the ship to look like this? It cleans itself. You'd have had to turn off the cleaning functions. I was jealous. That, that sound coming up, um, <clears throat> of the cleaning of the ship. I actually started it with a hover. <laughs> Was a <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, there's like no way you would recognise it from from that. But, uh, yeah. Ship, booze. Delay that order, ship. No more alcohol. You Dutch bastard. What happened to the uh, idea of having? Uh, well, obviously, because the Kickstarter never worked. But uh, where did you get Dutch from? Dutch. There's a person called Dutch. Oh, really? Yeah. He bought his name as a well, as your Hoover. Yeah, it doesn't sound much like a who. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a guy with the name Dash. Is his surname? Or his name? It, no, it's his first name. Really? Yeah, Dash. <laughs> What's um, his last name? Haven. Dash Haven. Dash Haven. This is not it, true. It's, it's very true. You need, is that, that's is, how we funded this episode. Like is that is that going to be a place? 
in the next hep- episode called Dutch Haven. I mean, I'm not going to rule it out, but I'm not going to promise anything. Oh, this music comes in. This is great. Mm-hmm. Talk about the music, but... This was the first bit we did, actually. What's that? I think because we thought it would be the most difficult. Or is that? Well, the most representative of the sound we were going for. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. So we insisted on doing this first, even though it was a bit inconvenient for the sketch. All right, now open a frequency to them. See what it is they But I think, yeah, we completely misjudged it and just kept it going. And there's yeah. a down from there. Hey, you um, tell me as a And then Jason was like, no, we to fade out real there. Words, please. When, when we did it, it made so much more sense. Well, I think it's because there was so much missing when we were working on it. Yes. We couldn't quite hey, understand I, um, um, sort of how it should feel. Yeah. This is this is how the process goes motif. sometimes. <laughs> and then, and then Sorry. Person, it's going to be a recurring motif. In these yeah. Times. It's just like yeah, we had incomplete stuff to work from, and <laughs> well, it always happens. Terrible direction. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to we're going for a kind of clinical utopian feel with the music here. Yeah, the music's completely changed from this point now that we're in a different atmosphere. That was the plan. And we, what I did with the uh, the inter- interrogation rooms because I I just thought you know you I I wanted them to be as removed from the rest of the ship as possible as if they had been uh, like just really well soundproofed. So that's the only place in the ship you don't hear the hum in that station. You hear it less in the like contra room, but basically in there you don't hear it at all. Yeah, it's weird when you see um, uh, sci-fi where they're so far into the future and their technology is incredible, but everything's making a complete racket. <laughs> <laughs> it just wouldn't happen, would it? Mm. It'd be really quiet. Yeah. <clears throat> well, but it has to be this. Uh, I mean, like there has to be an engine of some sort, and I mean. It's difficult to imagine that an engine wouldn't make a racket. If you go to like a, a nuclear power station, people have got massive uh, ear, ear defenders on all the time. Maybe it's like, you know, it's like if you're crossing a road in space, it's like then they put like the electric sound in the electric cars. You know, yeah, just yeah. Make it sound like oh, it's so, people, yeah. people need feedback. Don't yeah. They? yeah. So people put the sounds back in. <laughs> this room really purrs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spirograph. <laughs> See, they still have clipboards in Star Trek. They would have had iPad things. How else are you going to hold up yeah. the sheets of A4 paper? <laughs> I like this sound. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. That's that's Jason. Nice. I fucking promise. Oh, that was unnecessary. <laughs> This confrontational? Oh, we just have little five minute arguments. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure what that was for ages. Oh, yeah, we didn't understand it. I thought it was like a, fr- a frame that like jumped from somewhere else by accident. <laughs> we designed it ourselves. We- really? Yeah, after a fashion. I can't, can't hear very well or remember very well what, what the music on this bit is. This is, this is like we did a, like a really early demo when we hadn't actually seen anything. And it just seemed to work here. Oh, okay. It's like quite vib- vibraphony. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Is it because of the lift? <gasps> yeah, it's kind lift. of a bit elevatory. Oh, Is it? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I like the way the drums come in here. It's like um, it's like an educational video for, for like a timeshare or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, when you're saying it kind of reminded you of like Look Around You. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Gelg is the name of the band on the Karanju, which is uh, Sevfinovich and Robin, Robert Popper. Good fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're rapping, talented fellas. Rap, rap, rap. Rapity rapping. And what's this? The Consecrate. A machine? <clears throat> it designed the ship. It navigates and operates as a causality. We're just watching the show now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it tells us what'll happen. Before we accept a new recruit, we ask if they're a suitable... I'll talk a little bit about how I completely fucked up the, 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 the walking sounds and what we seen for you. Well, I mean, like, yeah, one of the things that's kind of new for me now is, like, I'm looking at all the, uh, the actual... Anim- animatics, the final things, and uh, I was working with stuff that was 
wasn't completely finished, so I synced the sound effects to things that weren't the final video. So and because I like to export everything in one file because I'm working with loads of different reverbs going into each other. You this, can just say that you're a yeah. professional. You can just say you can sum all that up. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, so I just uh, had to give it to Jason and he had to time stretch it to fit the new image, which was a bit odd. Oh, I didn't stretch it in the end, I just sampled it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You must have not passed the third time. Oh, no, no, I time stretched it. Yeah, I fucked it up. Sounds alright in the end. It's absorbing them. Absorbing them. Taking out their memories, personality and intellect. <laughs> <laughs> I've got new fingers. I've got a new arm too. <laughs> Is that a camera sound? Um, uh, yeah. I think it was a gun click. How would, you des- how would you describe oh, that, that snake yeah. thing? Because I was trying to do an email to you about it and I couldn't remember. I couldn't like figure out how to describe. Um, originally, it's like a, it's just like a, so it's like a, like there's cables from the Matrix that plug into the back of the head. Ah, okay, yeah. cable, yeah. It's like a snaky metal cable. I love these oh. um, voiceover sounds. I like the ones that are in the big hall. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're very expertly done. Oh, that's a bit of music. Tom did this. Let's mm. it out. Dun 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 dun. Where am really? I? Where is my? Why is my face in three D? Oh yeah, Jason really liked the music in this bit. He's told us multiple times. Mm. Yeah. We were going That's for true. A, <laughs> using uh, one of tricks as a reference for this bit. Now, to... and I've got a cameo of my voice coming up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, when it's turning, and then and then the little ship comes in. Yeah, the the dot and the question mark. Yeah. They... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, well, something like kind of silly and irreverent, but not too silly or too irreverent. Yeah, you wanted a raspberry, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just watched that Rick and Morty episode where there were the big giant faces like, show me what you got. And when they shoot the <clears throat> nuclear missile at one of the faces, it goes like, <laughs> this tiny little explosion. They failed the third test. What? What is this third test? At the risk of sounding corny, it's the test of the heart, Ghostwork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these heartbeats, are, it took ages. And the thing is, like, they're, they're going they're going so fast, you can't, like, because you don't want it to be, like, a super fast heartbeat. So, like, I could, I could only put two each, and then, like, it was difficult to kind of sing them, because they were, like, coming in and out. Mm. Yeah. You love him. No, I Who's doing the uh, the voice of the culture crypt? Um, that is a guy called Popeye Vogelstein, which is a name. That is an amazing name. <laughs> <laughs> You're so full of bullshit. No, no, no. It's not. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Um, no, he was the voice of, I think, Eris on, on uh, fucking Skyrim. He played a lot of characters in Skyrim, mm. um, which isn't to say that's his only good thing. He was in this as well. <laughs> Very famous, wasn't Yeah. One positive thing he's ever done. When we met you today, you were broken, <laughs> mentally and physically. I mean, technically, we broke. I'm glad that we get left this bit quiet, because um, it's sort of like he's kind of been expelled from paradise almost at this point. Mm. <laughs> it's not a floaty head anymore. <laughs> Dibby. They do Dibby. really look like cops, no, no. these two. Oh, it's all. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of music coming here. I, d- I doubt it's a coincidence, eh? <laughs> here we go back into the wicked music. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing. What? It's this is very look around you, actually. Yeah. Season one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is like proper going in like C-Fax. Kind of yeah. Like, yeah, you're like dialing it way back. Nality. <laughs> <laughs> But Sam. Hey, you're awake. We are escaping. Ooh, there we go. The Everywhere. We've never seen that yeah. bit. 
don't remember seeing as much design sense as an airlock with a keyhole. There are long stretches where there's nothing for us to say. There's no like sound or music. I was talking to those at the beginning, you ass. Would you recover a deleted list for me? How did the door open? You have some explaining to do. Hmm. What happened to you? Your interrogation subject. Hey, don't blame us. The door unlocked itself. Hmm. Use the sound of a, it wasn't a of, a, of a plug being sucked back into a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It worked well. We're going to be on the fridge. Oh, yeah, we had something we were talking about different ways of doing the ending here, weren't we? I don't really, remember, I think do you remember what it was? We talked about referencing the uh, the montage music. And yes. so I actually started off with the same melody from that Cats in Paris song and just played that. And so it is kind of in there, but I kind mm. of changed it a little bit and it's it's quite subtle. Yeah, I was pushing for like a full-on back-to-the-montage feel. Because Dutch Haven, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember enough. I'm really bad at this. No, it's fine. <clears throat> but it was it was because he was happy again, I guess, and everything was back to normal. And he was back to the list. Yeah, that's why yeah, he was going through the list. list. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, okay. Also, oh, it's fine that itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some names here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I put together an impromptu gag reel. There was two Mark Ellis's. 